Ever puzzled over the origins of your morning cup of joe? It's a fascinating journey. One that, for a particular type of coffee, begins in the lush terrains of Mysore, a region nestled in the southern Indian state of Karnataka. Picture this. It's the 17th century. An Indian Muslim named Baba Budin undertakes an adventurous journey from Yemen to Mysore with him. He carries seven precious coffee beans, with the planting of these seven beans. The story of Miso coffee takes root. Fast forward to the present day, and you'll find that Karnataka dominates the coffee production in India. The coffee cherries are meticulously handpicked, ensuring that only the ripest are selected for processing. How exactly do these beans transform into the aromatic beverage that we all love? There are two key methods involved, dry processing and wet processing. In dry processing, the coffee cherries are left to bask under the sun. This method allows the beans to retain the flavors of the fruit, adding a unique depth to the final product. Meanwhile, wet processing involves washing the coffee cherries and depulping the coffee cherries, leaving the coffee beans behind before fermenting them. Now what about the taste? Miso coffee is celebrated for its subtle yet rich flavor profile. This coffee has a medium to full body complemented by a distinct moderate acidity. It teases the palate with the sweet and spicy essence, a rich and smooth flavor and a tantalizing aroma. The flavor is described as sweet, mid-toned and intensely fragrant, with notes of sweet citrus and fresh cut cedar. The next time you sip on your coffee, take a moment to appreciate the journey it's been on. From the fertile soils of Miso to the meticulous processing methods, every step contributes to the unique taste of Miso coffee. It's not just a beverage, it's an experience, a testament to centuries of tradition and the labor of countless hands. So, as you enjoy your next cup, remember you're savoring a little piece of history, one sip at a time.